Damon Runyon Theater. Once again, the Damon Runyon Theater brings you another story by the master storyteller, Damon Runyon. And this one, The Lily of San Pierre. And to tell it to you, here is Broadway. Thanks. Well, there are four of us, including Louis the Lug, sitting in Good Time Charlie's little joint one Tuesday morning about four o'clock, doing a bit of quartet singing, very low, so as not to disturb McNulty, the cop on the beat outside. We are about halfway through a song when this happens. In a cabin, in a canyon. That's a very pretty, boys. Girl. Very pretty. I am sorry to bust it up. Don't reach for that rod, Louie. Don't. You do, and I'll make you look like a used punch board. Jack of hearts. Why, I do not even know you are in town. No, I guess not. How are you, Broadway? Uh, just fine. Fine. And you? Tired. <laughs> Louie, sit still. Now, look, Jack, unless you and me have a few words. Sure, a few words. Jack, what do you want, Charlie? Look, please do not make no trouble in my place. Please, Jack. Trouble? (laughs) This ain't no trouble at all, Charlie. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to come back here, Louis. Jack, why are you making all the fuss about just a little... Don't finish that, Louis. Don't finish it or I might put a period to it with this. Jack... I ask you, please, not here. I come a long way to do this, Charlie. I ain't particular where it happens. You're crazy, Jack. You, you'll burn for it. It ain't worth it. No. Tell you what, Louie. We'll all sit here and I'll tell a story. And we'll let the rest of the boys decide whether it's worth it or not. Kind of like a jury. What do you say? You... You mean you will listen to us? Yeah. You promised us? I promise. Well, Jack of Hearts... I know you are a guy who never goes back on a promise. You have got that reputation. Okay, we will make the deal. Fair enough. You guys are all nuts. There is a copper outside. He will hear the shots and you will all be part of the deal. You seem pretty sure what our answer is going to be, Louis. Even before we hear Jack's story. Yeah, he is afraid, Broadway. But I am not. Okay, you all settle back and I will spill the peace. So there we sit, the six of us, and we wait for Jack to start his story. And what that story is, I will tell you in a minute. And now back to the Damon Runyon Theater and the famous story, The Lily of St. Pierre. Like I say, there we sit. Jack's Roscoe is pointed right where it will separate Louis's breathing from the rest of him. And Louis is staring down at the rod and sweating so that the stiff collar he is wearing just turns over. The rest of us are looking at Jack, who never takes his eyes off of Louis. And Jack begins as follows. Maybe you guys remember about a year ago when I'm doing a job for John the Boss. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember, Jack. <laughs> well, the job takes me up into Canada on a boat. We get into a little trouble with gendarmes, and we make a run for it one cold night when it is raining. It seems that I get a bad cold, and it gets worse. In fact, it develops into pneumonia, and I pass out. Now, a guy with pneumonia is no citizen to have along on a tough job. So John the boss leaves me off in a place called St. Pierre. Remember it, Louis? Look, Jack... Shut up! Anyway, I get pretty sick. When I wake up, I find myself in a nice little house, listening to a funny kind of sound. Don't come no closer. Ah, You are awake at last. Good. Oh, Oh, what happens to me? You are very weak. You were very ill, monsieur. Hey, who are you? I am Dr. Armand Doral. Your friends leave you here. Oh. What's that noise? Noise? Oh, the fog warning. 
It is out in the harbor. Harbor? Where am I? The village of St. Pierre, Newfoundland. How long have I been here? Uh, three days now. But it is better if you rest, not talk. Are you hungry? Yeah. Hey, I am. <laughs> Good. But only broth at first. Then more solid food later. Wait a minute, you. Oui, monsieur. Where are you going? To get you some broth. Uh -huh. Look. Any coppers around? Coppers, monsieur? Gendarmes. Ah, you speak French. You kidding? Just answer my question. Any coppers? But no, monsieur. Okay. But be careful. <laughs> but yes, monsieur. Who's it? I brought you something to eat. May I come in? I... Just like that, you bust in. You... you better eat this while it's hot. Hey, who are you? I'm Lily. What's your name? Jack. Jack of Hearts. <laughs> Jack of Hearts? That's funny. Is that your real name? Jack is. Here, take some of this. Oh, oh what are you trying to do? Boil me alive. It's hot. No. Ice cold. Why is your name Jack of Hearts? Why you want to know? Because it's it's an odd name. Yeah. Ever play poker? No. What is it? Card game. No. I've never played cards. No. Well, anytime I get a Jack of Hearts in stud poker, I stay in the pot and win. Get it? <laughs> no. And skip it. Yes. Hey. Yes? I'm sorry I blew my top. Blew your top? Don't nobody around here talk English? I do. Yeah. Come to think of it, you don't talk like the old guy. Anybody would think you're American. I was raised in the United States, just across the border in a convent. Oh. Say, who is the old guy? Dr. Dorval. Sure, he tells me that, but who is he? My grandfather. When my father was killed, I came here to live. Old man killed, huh? Run with a mob? What? Skip that, too. The broth's getting cold. Grandpa says you've got to eat it. Where's he now? Downstairs. Why? Just wanted to know. Your name is Lily, huh? That's right. Yeah. Look, why do you keep staring at me? You never seen a guy before? Not like you. I'm different or something? Yes. How? Oh. I, I don't know. You just look different. Will you stop gawking at me like I'm in a zoo? I'm sorry, but... But what? I won't tell you. Look, Lily, don't bring up subjects and then drop them. Why am I different? I guess it's your mom. I'm sorry. I'll trade it in on something else, maybe another pair of ears. You're angry at me. Me? Nah. Your mouth is hard. Why do you keep your lips pressed together? Because I breathe through my nose. <laughs> now look, I... <laughs> That's better. <laughs> now your mouth is like your eyes. Huh? Oh. Nice and pleasant. Nuts. Beat it and let me eat my soup. That's how I meet Lily and her grandfather. You remember Lily, Louis. Jack, let's go someplace. Uh-uh, and... Louis. The boys here got to hear the rest. Then they got to be a jury. We are listening, Jack. Sure. But like I say, I meet Dr. Val and Lily. She's only 16. Pretty. With eyes that look like they're looking at the whole world at once. Well, a few days go by with Lily taking care of me, and then I... Get so I can use my pins without wobbling around. The fog warning stops blowing, and it's pretty there. So one day I go downstairs and outside for the first time. Lily's in the garden and sees me. Jack, glad to see you. Oh, hiya, Lily. Oh, you're up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like somebody goes over me with some rubber hose. Knocked out. A few days of this air, and you'll be all better. Sure I will. That the village over there? Yes, that's Saint-Pierre. 
Yeah, it is pretty, ain't it? Would you like to go over in the boat when you feel well enough? No, I'll stay here. Why don't you want to go? I'll stay here, I said. Oh, I've never been anyplace else but the convent in here. Sometimes I think I'd like to go someplace. Yeah? Lily? What, Jack? Don't. Don't what? Don't get that kind of idea in your knock, in your head. You belong here, like, like... Like what? How do I know I ain't Shakespeare? I'm going inside now. Good evening, Monsieur Jacques. Huh. Oh, Doc. I look for you. I miss our shaker game. Sorry. Didn't feel like it tonight. You care if I sit by you here? Why should I? <sighs> you like the view here, yes? Yeah. It is a lonely spot, but it keeps you company, may not? You're as screwy as Lily. Half the time, I don't know what you're talking about. I think maybe you are a lonely man, Jack of Arts. Who wouldn't be in this? You like it here, yes? Sure. You pretend you do not, but you do. <laughs> you got good eyes, Doc. Oh, I do not need eyes for that. <laughs> when is it you fall in love with Lily? You get screwier and screwier. She's just a kid, 16. She is a woman. Ah. I like you, Monsieur Jacques de Coeur. <laughs> what? Your name in French. What makes you think I fall for her? It is true, oui? No. You do not lie well, Monsieur Jacques. <laughs> I like a man who does not lie well. As though he is uh, not accustomed to doing it. Brother, have you got me pegged wrong? A what? You don't know me, is what I say. Uh, I know that you are brought here very sick. I know that the men who bring you here are very hard men. When a man's life is at stake, I do not ask questions. Will you go back to them, Jacques of Hearts? Huh? What else? I thought perhaps... Don't think nothing. And as for that crack about me being off my rocker for Lily, that's a big yuck. That's English for laugh. Well, that is the story Jack of Hearts tells us so far. But there is more. Lots more. And what happens, I will tell you in a minute. And now, back to the Damon Runyon Theater and the famous story, The Lily of St. Pierre. We still sit there looking at Jack of Hearts, who never takes his eyes off of Louis the Lug. By this time, Louis's collar is nothing like a collar, and his eyes are looking so hard at the rod pointing at him that they look like glass marbles. And Jack says as follows. So I leave St. Pierre that night. Sure, the old man pegs me. I fall for Lily. A wrong guy and a right doll. Then sometime later, who is it runs into me in Chicago but this... Jack, please. Not yet, Louis. You are hot at that time. You need a place to hide out. Where do I take you? Tell him, Louis. Where do I take you? Saint... Saint Pierre. What? Jack, you mean you take him there? But why? I tell myself it is to do him a favor until the heat is off him, but I... It is because I want to see Lily again and the old man. So we get to Saint Pierre, and old Doc Dorval acts like I am his son. He is that glad to see you. Jack! Oh, Jacques, it is wonderful to see you again. We miss you when you are gone, and you will live without a word. Why? We'll talk about that later. Right now, is it okay I bring a friend with me? Oh, but yes, certainly more, oui. Well, don't get too happy, Doc. You ain't seen him. Oh, if he is your friend, he is mine. Jack, Jack. Oh, Jack, it's so wonderful to see you again. Nice to see you too, Lily. How have you been? Why didn't you say goodbye? I don't like to, I... Yes? You're different. A bit older, Jacques. Yeah, a bit older. Hey, what's going on? I'm sitting out down the car like a pigeon. Take it easy, Louis. Uh, this is Doc Val. Doc, this is my friend. I am pleased and honored, monsieur. Yeah. So it's a joint, huh, Jack? 
Brother, this ain't a hideout. It's a tomb. Shut up. Huh? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Hiya, babe. Her name's Lily. Get it straight the first time. Okay, so I'll call her Lily. Uh, I'm gonna give the place a case. Don't pay no attention, Doc. He shoots off his mouth all the time. I understand, Jacques. Yeah, I knew you would. You know, it's just like being back home again. <laughs> That's me. Where you been? Walking around this tomb three days here and I'm talking to myself. Keep it that way. Sure, sure. How long's that racket keep up? Until the fog's gone. How do you get any sleep? Tell you what. You don't like it here? Why not hop back to the States? You'll run into lots of company there. Plenty of people to talk to, including a DA, maybe. Okay, okay. No offense. I'm just going stern out of this book. Maybe you'll get to like it. Huh. <laughs> How'd you find this joint? What's the difference? It's safe. Yeah. Only I'm thinking it's funny. You top me up here, you know, a million other places. This is safer. Maybe prettier, too, huh? Meaning? The doll. What's her name, Lily? You hear me? I hear you. Mind if I turn on the light in here? Leave it off. Okay, okay. <laughs> Think of a joke? Yeah. Real funny one. Like what? You ain't kidding me, Jack. Kidding? What am I kidding about? The doll, the doll. Any time a cookie like you holds up my joint like this, there's got to be a good reason, okay? She's a good reason. Plenty good. I don't blame you. <coughs> Why, you... I'll cook you, you slug me. You want to start cooking, Louie? <laughs> I get it. And keep it. Sure. <laughs> so you fall for it, huh? Do you tell her? No. Okay, okay. It was a nasty slug you put on me, Jack. Anytime you want to try to get it back, I'm here. I would never think of it, Jackie. I would just never think of it. It is about a week after what I just tell you when I am sitting down by the sea. It is a dark night, and just like before, old Dr. Val comes and sits. Good evening, Jacques. Hiya, Doc. Jacques, I... I must talk to you. Sure, Doc. What about? Lily. Yeah? Anything wrong? I do not know, Jacques, but your friend... Louis? What about him? Is he the right man for Lily? Doc, what's been going on? You do not know? I don't, I swear it, Doc. He talks to her. Oh, Jacques, she's so young. She knows nothing of people and the world. Okay, she... that's enough. Where's Louis? With her now, in the garden. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's right, baby. Now, there ain't no place in the world like New York. Yeah, there ain't. That's why you're going back, Louis. Jack. What are you, a gumshoe? Get out of here, Lily. No, Jack. We were just talking. I know. Get out. Doc. What, Jacques? Take her back to the house. Oui? Lily, please. I... All right. Okay. Now. What's eating you, Jack? So I'm giving a kid a line. It don't mean nothing at all. Just passing the time. Yeah. Guy can go nuts here if he don't find anything for laughs. We're leaving tonight. You're kidding. The heat's still on me. I'll buy you a fan. We're leaving tonight. <laughs> Can't get the first base with her yourself, huh? That it? That's the second time you do that, Jack. Want to feel a third? <laughs> okay, okay, forget it. Only let's get out of this bike. So we get out that night, and I don't say goodbye to Lily and the old man this time either. But you get away, don't you, Louis? You find a hideout in Maine. Then you go back to St. Pierre. You talk big to Lily. The kid thinks you're on the level. So what happens, Jack? 
One day, about a year later, I am in Detroit. I am standing on a corner when up comes little Joe. Hiya, Jack of Hearts. Hiya, Joey. What's new? Nothing. Oh, I run into a friend of yours the other day. Yeah? Who? Who with a lug? So, what's he doing in Detroit? Dunno. Picked up with a mob, I think. Anyway, he leaves yesterday. That's good. I'll enjoy the town better. Yeah, I know what you mean. That guy's a number one heel. Ditches some doll when she, uh, um, it gets to be too much trouble. She was a cute kid, too. Huh? Cute kid? Who? Ah, uh, some doll he hits town with. <laughs> and him with a wife and two kids in St. Louis. Joey, what doll? What did she look like? Hey, let go of my car. What's ID? You want the suit? I'll give it to you. What doll? What's her name? What's burning you? Give me the name, the doll. I don't know. Louise, Lillian. Lily? Yeah, Lily, that's it. Cute little trick. Black hair, eyes, big like manhole covers. Where's she now? For the love of Mike, let go of my car. Where is she? Well, from what I hear, the general hospital, I... Hey, hey, where you going? Now, there's a guy really off the beat. This is the charity ward. Please stay only five minutes. The other patients... Yeah, Doc, yeah, five minutes. There she is. Where? I... Huh? That ain't her. It's a mistake. I'm sorry. That's Lily Dorval. Remember, five minutes. Lily. Lily. Grandpa? No, it's me. Jack. Jack of hearts. Oh, Jack. Look, kid. We're going to get you out of here. We're going to take you back to St. Pierre. No. No, I, I can't go. No, Jack. You gotta. I can't. I don't want him to know. Him? Who? Grandpa. I, he wouldn't let me leave. But Jack. Please forgive me. For what, kid? For what? I, I told him I, I was going to meet you and marry you. He loved you, Jack. He, he wouldn't have let me go otherwise. No. Me? <laughs> me? You mean it would have been all right for me? Oh, kid. Kid. Forgive me. Sure. Sure, you... Wait a minute. Doc. Doc, get over here. Please. Please. Please be quiet. Listen to me, Doc. Will she get better? Is she... One more day at the most. Then look. Get a minister, a priest, anybody. Get somebody to marry us. That is the story Jack O'Hartz tells. But it is not the end. There is still the payoff. And what it is, I will tell you in a minute. Like I say, Jack tells us the story. And when he is finished, we sit and look at him. And he says... Yeah, I marry Lily. I take the license back to old man Dorval in case he asks. And I find she writes to him every week about how happy she is with me. Yeah, she is happy now. So is the old man. Because Lily is back in St. Pierre. Dead. Look, Jack, I got no idea you're crazy about the kid. I swear I wouldn't have looked at her if I knew. You're a dirty liar. I tell you, I swear it. Okay, Broadway. Charlie, what's the verdict? Oh, for the love Shut of... Shut up. Broadway. Jack, look, there was the old man. When he hears you shot Louis, and he will, he will wonder. And sooner or later, the whole story will get back to him. I... I never thought of that. All the while I hunt for Louis, I think of only one thing. Maybe you wish to go back to the old man someday. Back to St. Pierre. I never think of that either. I think you will be happy there, Jack of Hearts. Hey. He, he's gone. Hey, Broadway, you saved my life. <laughs> Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Please. 
Why, it's someplace else. What? Come on, come on, break it up. Get out of here, Louie. You kidding, Broadway? No, I am not. Get out, or I will take great pleasure in throwing you out. Huh? You want to get cooked? I got a rod, too. Use it. Huh? Go ahead, pull it out. Use it on me, you dirty skunk. You are yellow from the top to the bottom. Watch that, Broadway. I'll cook you. All right, you got the gun in your hand, use it. And I still see you are a dirty skunk. And I apologize to all the skunks in the world. Why? I will see that this story gets to the right guys, Louis. Once you are a tough hood. But when certain citizens learn what you really are, you are done. Now, do you still wish to pull the trigger? You are all nuts. Broadway. Yeah, Charlie? You get him plenty mad. A guy like him don't think of a copper outside. He could have plugged you and run out the back. I know he will not shoot me, even if he thinks of the copper, because he is yellow. Besides, it is almost five o'clock. So? So? McNulty, who is the cop outside, goes off duty at 4.30. However, I will take a cup of coffee. Black. And so ends another famous Damon Runyon story, The Lily of Saint-Pierre. Listen in again next week for... The Damon Runyon Theater. The Damon Runyon Theater with John Brown as Broadway is directed by Richard Sandville and the stories adapted for radio by Russell Hughes. Vern Carstensen is in charge of production. This is a Mayfair production.